Hey guys, Foldit's tutorial is not perfect, and it might take you a while to get through it, so if you need a really quick guide, clashes are bad, then that means things are too close together. Just pull this apart. It's not just the side chains that we have to move, but also the backbone as well. Learn how to use the camera in this puzzle and manipulate it so that you can see everything and pull things the proper way. Moving side chains is tedious, so we have the shake tool to do that for us. Just press S and you're done. Actual proteins clump together so that they don't make any holes, so just pull this together and you're good. Again, moving things is tedious, so we have the wiggle tool for that. Just press W, wait for it to, the score to settle, and then you're good. Beta sheets are one of the structures that we tend to see in proteins, just pull these together and wiggle and you should be fine. Blue residues are water loving and so they tend to go on the outside, orange residues are water hating or hydrophobics and so they don't tend to go on the inside. Rubber bands are one of the ways to influence how wiggle works and so we can tie things together and they will pull towards each other. Shift and hold left click to attach segments together and make sure that you move the camera to check that you've actually attached them together rather than to a point in space. Wiggling and full clashing importance tends to cause chaos when there's a lot of clashes and we don't want that. What you want to do instead is turn the clashing importance down so that Wiggle doesn't pay as much attention to the clashes while it's moving things around. As the protein starts to stabilize, move the clashing importance up and use rubber bands if you think you need them. Gradually increase the clashing importance until it goes back up to full power and you should have a fully stabilized protein. If you don't get the high score while just shaking and wiggling normally, you can also turn the wiggle power to high and this will force extra calculations for some bonus points. This puzzle is just attaching more sheets together, use rubber bands as necessary, and wiggle. This puzzle teaches you about the freeze tool. You can shift click to freeze one segment, shift double click to freeze entire uh, secondary structures, and you can use this to anchor this in place, drag this downward into the slot that it's given. Use wiggle to clean up, and you're good. Alpha helixes tend to have blue uh, side chains on one side and orange side chains on the other. Use the tweak tool to bring up these arrows and t slowly twist so that the orange side chains are on the inside. Shaking first will remove some clashes and make wiggling a lot more stable. Wiggle, and it should come together with all four sheets lining up and the hydrophobics on your helix in the inside. The tweak tool can also be used to shift the positions of sheets. Once you shift it over, shake first before wiggling, so again, you stabilize the protein before you wiggle. This puzzle puts most of your skills together. Freeze this segment, drag this beta sheet over, use rubber bands to align the segments together properly, use wiggle to clean up the rest. If you need extra points, shake first, then wiggle. Stabilize the protein first by shaking. This allows you to see orange residues more clearly on the sides of helices. Use the tweak tool to shift the helices over so that your orange residues are hidden. Shake first, then wiggle to stabilize. Quest that a native is not relevant to the coronavirus puzzle, so you can safely skip this. The move tool is important for moving segments that have been cut or are separate from each other. Left click any segment to bring up the move arrows. Hold le and left click to rotate. You can also hold left click on the arrows to rotate in the plane of the screen. For this puzzle, just hold right click and move to align the backbone. Shake and wiggle to clean up. Electron density is actually really cool, but you don't need to know this for the coronavirus puzzle. The Redux tool tests out different shapes for the protein when you use it. You don't necessarily have to use it while hand folding, and it's best to just let the recipes use this tool instead. When designing your own proteins, sometimes you want to make your own sheets and helices. To assign sheets and helices, enter structure mode by hitting 2 on your keyboard, and then drag um, any helix um, segment that's assigned to extend it, or you can right click any segment and assign it to be a sheet, helix, or loop, and then you can click on any segment to extend it uh, down the chain. Once you are done, go back to pull mode by clicking on the button down here, or by using the one key on your keyboard, right click any segment that is a helix, click ideal SS, and it should form a helix. Basic threading is not used in the coronavirus puzzle. In coronavirus round three, there are locked cut points, so you can't necessarily fuse them together like you do in this puzzle, but cut points are generally useful for cutting uh, apart secondary structures so that you can mess around, move them about, and use the move tool to uh, put them back together. Or wiggle. Wiggle works too. What's points are yellow that indicates that they can be put back together and act as one backbone once again. Align in sequences is not necessarily relevant to the coronavirus puzzle. Sometimes full scoring formula isn't perfect and so we use objectives to compensate for that by giving bonus points for special conditions that would otherwise lower the score. Disulfide bonds are actually a thing, but they're not necessarily relevant for the coronavirus puzzle. The coronavirus puzzle does indeed use the core existence objective. For this puzzle, idealize your helix. Click show on the core existence objective so you can see what is being considered as a core residue in orange. Pull this sheet downward to create an orange core. Shake and wiggle to clean up. The blueprint tool is actually used in the coronavirus puzzles and is a great way to construct your protein from scratch. 
you can drag and drop building blocks and see how your protein will be affected in real time. Using building blocks does lock down your protein a bit, so to get the final high score, make sure to remove all your building blocks when you're done. Shake and wiggle to clean up. This tutorial puzzle allows you free reign over how you use the blueprint tool. You can drag and drop uh, secondary structures to make them on the spot. You can also reassign secondary structures by clicking and dragging on the blueprint tool. Keep in mind that there are different connectors, so you can go from helix to sheet, sheet to helix, etc., and replace building blocks as you see fit, along with secondary structures. Feel free to make your own solution to this puzzle. And also note, once you've reassigned secondary structures, you can hit idealize SS and it will do that for the entire protein. As always, wiggle to clean up. To change individual side chains, enter design mode by hitting 4 on your keyboard, left clicking something, and changing it to whatever you want. Changing things goes both ways. If you want to fill the void, use large residues like such as tryptophan or phenylalanine. Picking residues one at a time, it tends to get very, very tedious. Once you've changed three in this tutorial, you'll get access to mass mutate. You can hit M on your keyboard or click the button, and it'll start picking side chains automatically. This will be very useful for once you get your rough draft structure down in the coronavirus puzzle. Design mode can also be used for adding and subtracting segments by right clicking. You can use wiggle to clean up, mass mutate to auto pick sidechains for you, or design mode and individual mutate to fix individual sidechains. All four of the ligand puzzles are not necessarily relevant to coronavirus and can be revisited later. And there you have it, a speedrun of the tutorial puzzles as they pertain to the coronavirus puzzle. If you want to figure out how a veteran like me uses all the tools and the tutorials that I just mentioned to make something like this for your coronavirus puzzle solution, check out my streams. I stream on twitch.tv slash Socrates, that's spelled S-0-C-K-R-A-T-E-S. And thanks for watching.